Hello everyone. Today we will try to understand the concept of RH immunization so that it will be easier for you to understand the chapters on RH negative pregnancies. Before that, we will try to brush up with what we already know. What is the concept of vaccine? You introduce an antigen, it incites an immune response and development of antibodies which are IgM or IgG type. IgM antibodies are formed first and they are short-lived whereas IgG are rising gradually but they cause long-term immunity. In vaccines, the antigen is from a different species but if antibodies develop against foreign antigens from the different individual but of the same species, then we call it as allo or isoimmunization. Though the terms are used interchangeably but Allo is usually used in context of blood transfusions and tissue transplantation. Iso is usually used in context of pregnancy and RH incompatibility. You also know something about hemolytic anemia. It is when RBC destruction is more than and faster than RBC production. This leads to anemia with its complications and cardiac failure, increase in the levels of free hemoglobin and increased bilirubin which may lead to renal failure and liver damage. With this preliminary knowledge, let's try to understand the concept of RH immunization. In humans, the short arm of chromosome 1 has two genes RHD and RHCE which decide the CDE or RH grouping of the humans. Those who develop D positivity or D antigen are called RH positive and those with the antigen negative are called RH negative. So if there is a RH negative female who has an RH positive baby due to the component inherited from the father and which is lacking in the mother, there is a risk of RH sensitization. This will happen because a level of fetal maternal hemorrhage normally occurs during antepartum period at the time of delivery and it increases further with certain pregnancy complications, prenatal diagnostic procedures and maternal trauma. In all these cases, the RH antigen is introduced to the mother and it incites the formation of RH antibodies of IgM or G type in the mother. These antibodies of IgG type then cross the placenta and reach the fetal RBCs and they cause damage to the RBCs. Now, if it's a first pregnancy of such combination, the fetus will not be affected usually because the amount of hemorrhage is low antepartum. It takes some time for the antibodies to develop and the antibodies are more of IgM type which do not cross the placenta. But this first pregnancy will lead the female to be sensitized for future exposures like for secondary infections after vaccination. In successive pregnancy, again if the same thing happens of an RH positive baby with RH negative mother, there is a stronger immune response, higher levels of IgG antibodies and they then cross the placenta and cause hemolytic disease in the fetus. With gradually increasing severity, they can be congenital anemia, icterus neonatorum or hydrops vitalis in the baby. As for example, when the hemolysis is mild, there is only anemia, jaundice is not present and there could be hepatomegaly or splenomegaly due to extra medullary hemopoiesis. But within 6 weeks, this subsides after birth because no more antibodies transfer to baby after delivery. So this would lead to congenital anemia of the newborn. But if hemolysis was higher when the baby was intra-utero, then the increased hemolysis would lead to increased bilirubin which would be excreted through the placenta through maternal system before birth. But just after birth, once the cord is clamped, the placental transfer stops and it leads to high bilirubin levels in the baby which cause jaundice within 24 hours of birth which is called pathological jaundice of the newborn and it can lead to conductors if the levels are high enough to cross the blood brain barrier. With furthermore, hemolysis or a more severe hemolysis, there is severe anemia which causes tissue anoxia, even cardiac failure. It can cause liver damage leading to hypoproteinemia with edema, ascites and hydrothorax and can even lead to fetal death. 
then that condition is hydrops fetalis.